One of the problems you run into when you work on JavaScript applications is this idea of a stale build. So imagine a user starts using your application on Monday and they leave their browser tab open. And then on Tuesday, you deploy a bunch of bug fixes, some features. And then on Wednesday, the user comes back to their computer and they start to use the application again. But they use that same tab they left open. So they're using Monday's version of the application. They're using a stale build and they won't have all the feature updates and bug fixes that you deployed on Tuesday. And this can be really, really annoying because you tell the user you fixed the bug, but they still see it. So the way I've solved this in my Next.js applications is I have this library here called Next Deploy Notifications. And this thing gives you a React hook that is going to let you detect when you've deployed a new version of your application. And you can pop up this little message down here, letting your users know a new versions available so they know they need to refresh the application. And in today's video, rather than showing you how to use this library, we're gonna implement a very simple version of it from scratch. And to do that, we're gonna be using this application right here. This is our podcast admin. It lets us edit and share show notes on different podcast episodes. And I want it to pop up a message that tells a user whenever I've deployed a new version of the application. So this application already has a notification component and we can pass in a message here and we'll see this little message pop up down here. Now, instead of saying hello world, uh, we want to notify the user when there's a new deploy. So I'm gonna just paste in this code, letting the user know a new version's available and then show this button that lets the user reload the window. So if I click refresh, the application is going to reload. Now we don't want this notification to always be showing. We only want it displayed when there's a new deploy. So we're going to guard it in a Boolean called has new deploy. And to start, we will define that Boolean and we'll keep it as true. So we don't always want this Boolean to be true. We want it to be derived on if there's a new deploy or not. And to give us that information, we're gonna use a hook called use has new deploy. And we'll start defining that hook down here. So use has new deploy is gonna be a function. And for now, we are gonna return false. And we see our little notification go away. And so now we need a way to check if the application has been deployed. And to do that, we're gonna create a new API route that exposes the current version of our application. So I'm just gonna copy this default next API route and rename it to has new deploy. And here we're gonna return the current version of our application. So we'll say version and we'll just hard code this as one, two, three for now. So back in our client code, we need a way to get that current version and we can do so with a function called get current version. And this function is going to fetch from our new API endpoint called has new deploy. And uh, this fetch is async, so we need to await it. And then we're gonna read the JSON. And then we're gonna return the version of our application. Now, just to see what this is doing, let's add a console log here and we will console log the JSON response. And then down in our hook, uh, we're just gonna call get current version as soon as our hook renders. And so here we can see the JSON object and we can see our version is one, two, three. Okay, now the whole point of this has new deploy hook is to tell when there's a new deploy so we want to pull this version and detect when it changes. And so we can pull it with a hook called uh, use interval. Use interval is the React hook version of set interval. It comes from this interval hooks library and it is going to let us run this inner code uh, at a specific interval. And for that interval, we are gonna use three seconds. 
So here we can see that we are polling our API route every three seconds. Okay, so now we wanna get the, uh, the version from this get current version. Uh, this is async, so we need to await it, which also means we need to make our interval function async. And we now wanna check if this version has changed. So just to uh, visualize this, let's console log uh, the current version is version. And uh, we'll delete this console log up here. We wanna know when this version has changed. And since we're running this code in an interval, we wanna compare our current version in this interval to the version that was found in the last interval. And we can do that using a ref. So we'll create a new ref called version ref. And then right before our interval ends, uh, we're gonna set version ref dot current equal to the version. And then we're gonna add another console log that says the last version was version ref dot current. And so we can see both of these versions logging. And if we go to our API and we change the version of 456, we can see right here, uh, the current version is 456. The last version was 123. And at this point, we know we have a new deploy. So we can say if the version is not equal to the last version, uh, there was a new deploy. And at this point, we want to trigger a re-render so our page can show the notification. And we can do that using React State. So we'll add a new piece of state called has new deploy. And that's gonna be a Boolean that starts off as false. And then as soon as we know there's a new deploy, we will set has new deploy to true. And finally, instead of returning false, we can return that state. Okay, so there's one problem here. As soon as I save the file, we got our new version available pop-up. And if we scroll through our console logs, we're gonna see one that says the last version was undefined, the current version is 456. And so for the first loop through our interval, our version is never gonna equal the value in the ref because the ref is gonna start out as undefined. So we actually don't wanna trigger a new deploy if our version ref is not set. So we'll just guard against that case here. So let's refresh the app. And you can see we're polling, no notification. But if we come over to the API route and bump the version again. And here we go, we got a new deploy notification. So this is pretty cool, but throughout this whole video, we've just been hard coding this version number right here. And I doubt you want to change this version number on every single Git commit you make. And so next, we're going to make it so we automatically detect the version of our application. And to do that, I am going to paste in this code right here. And this code is going to give us the current commit from our Git repository. So instead of returning 789, we are going to return the current Git SHA. And so here you can see the current version is the commit SHA. Uh, from our Git repository. So let's refresh. And I'm gonna make a new commit. So uh, trigger a deploy message. And there we go, as soon as I commit, we get that deploy notification. So this is pretty awesome. So this code right here reads from our .git directory in our development environment and most production hosts are not gonna have a .git directory that we can read from. Uh, with my applications, I deploy them to Vercel, and Vercel does give us access to the current Git SHA, and they do that with an environment variable. So instead of reading from this get git version function, uh, we're gonna detect if we're on Vercel, and we can do that with an env variable called Vercel, and if we are running on Vercel, we are going to return this env variable called Vercel get commit SHA. And this is going to be the commit that is currently deployed to Vercel. So this should take care of production. 
uh, let's commit all this code and uh, deploy it to Vercel. And let's open up our Vercel dashboard and we can see this deploy is currently running. You can see our commit message. And it looks like our deploy is now ready. So let's visit the URL. And if we open up the console, uh, we should start to see our console logs. So there we go. We can see our current version of the application. Okay, so let's kick the tires here. Let's open up our index page and this H1 here where it says episodes, let's change this to hi mom. So let's commit this, change title, push it. And now for the moment of truth. Okay, we got, we got our new version available, but uh, let's see what happens when we click refresh. And there it is, hi mom. So this is an awesome way to notify your users whenever you push new code to production. You can see that, you know, it only took me a few seconds to, uh, to know to reload the page here. Pretty cool. So uh, to wrap this up, I wanna talk about this library. Uh, this library is an NPM library that you can install, and it basically does exactly what we just did. Uh, there's a couple optimizations. So for one, the polling delay is a lot longer, so you're not wasting HTTP requests. It's also not gonna poll if the user doesn't have the browser focused. So if the user isn't using your application, there's really no point in checking for a new version. So uh, check this out. If you install this, uh, it should just easily work on Vercel. And then also there's some configuration down here where if you're deploying your next apps to a non-Vercel host, uh, there's ways to detect the version and get notifications to show up. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you end up using this library, let me know. I'd love to hear how your experience goes. I'll see you in the next one.